Randy, now we've had earthquakes uh, in Illinois before, but what, how is northern Illinois different when it comes to earthquakes? Well, they're, they're not quite as frequently occurring as, as opposed to the, the southern Illinois area where, you know, a little over a year ago we, we had one down in the New Madrid area. That area is about 250 miles to the south. So in this particular area, they're, they're not quite as common, although, you know, they are... Um, they have occurred in the past. Uh, for instance, uh, within about 30 or so miles of this quake last night, there was a 4.2 magnitude that occurred back in June of 2004. So, you know, they, they do occur, but just not very frequently. Okay, well, thank you so much for your perspective. That's Randy Baldwin with the U.S. Geological Survey giving us an update. And again, if you're just joining us, that earthquake that everyone has been calling us that say they felt the, the saying that they felt about 4 a.m. has been downgraded to a lesser severity quake. Julian is in Elmhurst uh, with the latest. Hello, Julian. Good morning, Larry. The remarkable thing about this, of course, is how many people felt this earthquake. They felt it all the way down in Crown Point, Indiana, up to the Chicagoland area and much of the western suburbs, and for whatever reason, most especially here in Elmhurst. I woke up at, well, it was, it turned out on the radio, I heard it was at 459, 359, and I just said to, to my husband, what was that? And I, because I heard something loud, and he always ignores me at that hour and went back to bed. And, and then I, when I heard it on the news, I thought, I knew I heard something. It just sounded like a real loud thud. So that was all. I didn't feel anything. Uh, she thought it was like the wind from a storm or something like that. I slept right through it. I could sleep through anything or whatever like that. But <laughs> she, she woke up and she's like, I thought it was the wind. So uh, I was actually up with my uh, little boy. And um, we, uh, we live off, just off side the, uh, the train tracks. And so we thought it was the train snapping together. Um, but it felt louder than that. Um, I read this morning that it lasted for three to five seconds. It didn't seem to last that long where we were. It was just, it was just real quick, but it felt like a big jolt. And it really felt like when the train snapped together behind our house, uh, we'll, we'll uh, hear it sometimes and feel it sometimes. But um, then was checking the news later and saw that it was actually an earthquake. And I was, you know, didn't think that that's what it was at the time, but it made sense after the fact. And that's the thing. You know, it, it felt like... Uh, 18-wheeler rumbling by. I felt it on the west side of Chicago getting ready for my early morning weather live shots. I, at first, I thought somebody had tapped the back of my crew car. I turned around behind me to see if there was anyone there, and uh, I thought, oh, it was just uh, an 18-wheeler or a train or something. Uh, but a lot of people out here in the Elmhurst community really felt it, and uh, our assignment editor, Kelly Barnacle, told us her bed was just shaking around and things rattling on the wall. Uh, so a lot of people out here in the western suburbs feeling the effects of this earthquake. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Thank Julian. You, Julian. We also want to remind you that many schools are closed right about uh, now because of the weather. We have uh, a list.